and welcome back to the third and final part of this volume of Love Island the Game 2, Volume 4, X in the Villa. This part is episode 10, Suresh Shakes the Cage. Suresh's shocking revelation leaves the girls stunned. Welcome back to Love Island where Liv and her ex Suresh have caused a bit of a stir in the bedroom. One of the islanders just made an awkward exit. But is Liv's night about to get X-rated? Let's find out. You're sitting on the edge of your bed. Dana's just walked out of the bedroom. I'm gonna go after Dana, there's no way I'm staying in bed with Suresh. Dana, wait! You head out the bedroom, leaving Suresh alone in bed. Seriously, Liv, you're wasting your time. Just leave her. You rush out of your bedroom. You rush out of the bedroom and search all over the villa for Dana, but she's nowhere to be found. Realizing she must be in the beach hut, you decide to return to your bed. You lay down beside Suresh. Wanna get cozy? I'm gonna turn away and go to sleep. I wouldn't do either of those things. You turn away from Suresh and settle into bed. Your body's very far apart. Suresh looks disappointed and turns away from you too. Night then. Good night, Suresh. Your eyes briefly glance around the room and for a moment you see Eddie looking at you. He quickly turns away after noticing you looking back at him. You close your eyes. Your your mind is racing. Your ex has just got into your bed and now he's talking about leaving the villa. You try and put these thoughts aside and after a little while you manage to fall asleep. You wake. You rub your eyes and notice Suresh by your side. Morning Liv. Feels nice to share a bed again, don't you think? It really doesn't. No, it's anything but nice. Don't hold back, Liv. How are you feeling this morning about what I said about leaving? I think you should leave. I still think you should leave and I'm not going to change my mind. At least you know what you want, I suppose. Suresh gets out of bed. So have you made a decision yet? I said I'd sleep on it. And you have. I think I'm still going to need more time to think about it. The rest of the islanders have all woken up and are getting out of bed too. I'm glad we've cleared the air a little bit. No, we haven't. You fancy some breakfast, Liv? Start the day off right. I need more sleep. All I want right now is to curl back under the sheets and sleep for a few more hours. Well, where's the fun in that? Did I just hear you the offer of making breakfast over there, Suresh? You've got good ears, ain't you, pal? Only when it comes to certain things. Is that right? Things like hard-boiled eggs, bacon, sausage, mushrooms, tomatoes, fried bread. White pudding too, if you please. What's white pudding? The greatest non-pudding pudding you've ever not tasted. You are, babe. It's a fatty oatmeal sausage thingy. Delish. Me and my mom make our own together. Aw, cute. Knew you were a mummy's boy. I'll have some poached eggs with my white pudding. Cheers, Finn. Hot sauce too. And I'll get back to my private chat with Liv. Maybe lower your voice a bit if you want a private chat. There's no doing anything in private here, right, Liv? You look over at Eddie. You realise everyone's looking towards you now. Except for Dana, who is trying not to look at you. I just went out to see if Dana was okay. I couldn't find her though, so I just went back to bed. Dana gives you an understanding smile. Thanks, Liv. It's nice to know that somebody cares. Can we get back to talking about breakfast? Am I not enough to focus on first thing in the morning? Well, now you mention it. Finn and Kat laugh as they roll back up amongst their sheets. Dana, you were in and out of our bed all night. I got out once, and I got back in once. It's no big deal, Eddie. You got enough beauty sleep, didn't you? Whatever. I just feel a bit knocked, that's all. I don't want to be caught in the middle of all this drama. Grow up, Eddie. The remaining islanders all finally climb out of their beds. I wonder what today we'll have to offer. I hope we get a fun challenge. Yeah, it's something silly to get us all laughing. You look over and smile at Dana. She smiles back slightly before turning away and walking out of the bedroom. Well, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm itching for a bit of that pool. Slippery when wet, hun. I feel you. You know it. Finn jokingly extends his hand for Cap. Not yet, babe. I've got to get ready. Me, you out there. Finn excitedly runs out of the bedroom. Wait for me, mate. Alfie chases Finn out of the room. Time to put on your game face, Liv. You've got graft coming at you from all sides. You head out of the bedroom and into the dressing room. Dana is already applying makeup in front of a mirror. You look nice. Thanks. I really did go out to look for you last night. I couldn't find you. It's fine. I just needed space. Uh, don't let it worry you. Besides, it's a new day now. Let's look forward to it. Thanks, Dana. So, girls, how are we feeling about things this morning? It seems like there's plenty going on for you both. I'm not sure yet. What was it like having Suresh back in your bed? I wouldn't be complaining. Yeah, did anything happen between the sheets that we don't know about? Uh, no, I'm not really feeling it with Suresh. Nothing happened with him last night. You expect us to believe that when you've got that toned, hot, sweaty bod lying right next to you. He's not that hot. You've changed your tune a little since yesterday. That's all you're getting out of me. I've got to say I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping to hear about some of Suresh's special skills. I bet he knows exactly what he's doing between the sheets. Cat, no need to beat around the bush. That's what she said. Dana, honestly... Sorry, but sometimes it's too hard to resist. That's what she said. Good effort, but leave it up to a pro like me next time. That's what she said. You and the girls laugh together. Suresh sure knows how to say the right things, though. He knows what a girl wants to hear. You really think? Yeah, a player like him doesn't just change who he is. 
I'd be surprised if he's being completely honest with you. You think Suresh is playing games with you, Liv? I think he might be, yeah. I think he might be up to something, yeah. I literally just said that almost word for word, oh my. What makes you say that? Yeah, did he say something to you? It's just more the way he's been talking. I can't shake the feeling he's hiding something. Maybe he's just trying to use you. But why would he do that? To try and make sure he's in the final couple that wins. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. Why not? Because he'd have to be coupled up with me for that to happen. Wow, Kat, I guess I'll start polishing your crowns already. Did he say anything else? He said he might leave the villa. What? Is he serious? Why would he do that? Maybe he wants to move on or help me move on. So is he leaving? Not much point getting to know him any better if he is. Well, he slept on the idea and still hasn't made up his mind. He's playing with you. Why would he want to leave? When he could just move on with someone else. You're not the only hot girl in here. Thanks for reminding us, Kat. But Kat's got a point. Saying he's gonna leave seems a bit dramatic. Maybe. I really don't know what to make of that. But I'm here if you need me, love. Thanks, Dana. I just hope that Suresh isn't trying to make fools out of us. Anyway, enough about Liv and Suresh. They're not the only couple in this villa, you know. Okay, Kat, I'll take the bait. Give us some gossip about Finn, then. I thought you'd never ask. Something juicy, please? Yeah, tell us something to heat us up for the day ahead. Want to know what really gets Finn going? Hell yeah. Tell us already. Nibbling. Nibbling. Yep. Nibbling on what exactly? How he's nibbling on you when he's got a mouthful of egg and white pudding. I'm not going to tell you the specifics. I don't need you trying to entice Finn away from me. I can't fancy a nibble on something now. And I don't care what. Well, how about you stick to nibbling on Eddie? I'm not so sure about that. Why not? I still can't pin him down. I sure could. I'm not sure that there's much beneath the surface. There doesn't need to be when you've got a surface like that. I can't argue that the surface is delicious, but I feel like we're still missing a connection. We've had a fair few little chats now and don't seem to have much in common. Maybe he'll surprise you somehow. Who knows? It seems like Finn is the only boy that can be trusted then. It feels nice to be coupled up with a trustworthy one of the bunch. Oh, there's so many options here. We've got, yeah, Finn is certainly Mr. Trustworthy. Finn is the biggest player of all. I trust Alfie over the other boys, I trust Eddie over the others, or I'd still trust Suresh over the others. I'd say I trust Alfie over the other boys. Alfie's the most trustworthy without a doubt. And he's the only single one. Typical. Me and Finn are built to last, girls. When you know, you know. You proper falling cat. Kat's a little bit hesitant. Her cheeks flush red. Well, it's early days. You really are, aren't you? You big softy. Oh, whatever, Dana. Kat continues getting ready for the day ahead. Are we gonna waste all day in here? I don't know what to wear. Yeah, decisions, decisions. You've got options, babe. Check this out, Liv. I've got the perfect thing for you. That is a look. I'll give you that. I don't know if it's really Liv. Maybe it is, actually. I actually really like that. Let's see what else we've got in the wardrobe, though. The red one is probably the one I love most out of all of them. Okay, so we've gone for a nude toned lip and this red number and the white sneakers. I think that suits Liv quite well. I'm feeling this outfit more right now. Yeah, maybe you're right. You look great in that too. You head out of the dressing room, ready for another scorching day in the villa. You step out into the beautiful rays of island sunshine. Alfie's sitting on one of the beanbags. Hey Liv, come chill with me. You sit down on the beanbag beside Alfie. So, what's up? I just wanted to talk to you about last night. What about it? I just wanted to say that I understand why Dana walked out. You do? Yeah, it must be hard to see someone you're into getting cosy with someone else. See, that's what's going on. I'd have probably done the same if I was her. Listen to me. I sound soppy as. Seems to be becoming a habit of mine. You do you, Alfie. If you want to be soppy, that's up to you. The boys back home must be loving this. There's nothing wrong with getting a bit of mosh. You tell that to my boys. They're really going to rip me when I get back. It's nice to have a sensitive side. My days. My nan used to say I was too sensitive. Really? Yeah, I could tell you some funny stories about my sensitive side. It will give you some more info on my love life too. You want to hear a funny story about sensitive little Alfie? Not right now, I don't think. Maybe not right now, thanks. Are you sure? You know I can tell a good story. And this one gives you some hints about how I'm approaching finding love in the villa. You might find it interesting. No, thank you. Save it for another time, Alfie. Okay, no props. Alfie scratches his head boyishly. So, did Suresh make up his mind? Make up his mind about what? Don't take this the wrong way, Liv. I overheard what he said about leaving the villa. I'm gonna guess that's also a part of why Dana left the room. Maybe, but I think it was mainly seeing me and Suresh in bed together. Yeah, she probably heard you talking too, though. Maybe. I've um, already spoken to the girls about it anyway. Did Suresh really mean that? He's planning on leaving. He woke up this morning and told me he still hasn't decided. Oh, this is all getting a bit too complicated. Why can't things just be simple? That's just how relationships are sometimes. They don't have to be. But I suppose you two do have some serious baggage between you. Yeah, and I can't change that. 
I don't know how I'd manage with one of my exes running around. I'd be losing my head. I don't think I could be dealing with that kind of nonsense. Maybe one of your exes will arrive later on. Oh my days, please no, take that back. Maybe more than one. I sure hope not. Can you imagine a villa full of our exes? Maybe me and you would have to hook up just to stay safe. Alfie laughs. Who knows? I think Dana might have something to say about that though. Huh, <laughs> maybe. You and Alfie both stretch out on the beanbags. There's a calm silence in the garden. I wonder what fun shenanigans today has planned for us. A ping from a phone is heard. It's yours. You look at it. Good timing. I got a text. The other islanders gather round you at the beanbags. What does it say, Liv? Here, tell us already. I'm ready for a new challenge. Spill what's happening. You read the text out loud to the rest of the group. Islanders, prepare yourselves. It's time for excess baggage. When the carousel starts to turn, what juicy gossip will we learn? Hashtag dirty laundry. Hashtag spins and sins. Awesome. I can't wait to hear some filth. I've got to say I'm a little nervous. Yeah, this could lead to a messy departure. I've got nothing to hide. That's what everybody says. Eddie pulls you to one side. What's going on, Eddie? Are you worried, Liv? About what? About things being revealed. What are you talking about? I saw you and Suresh last night when Dana was out of the room. What are you talking about? It looked like things seemed complicated between the two of you. And they might be about to get even more complicated. As there's something I need to tell you. In private? Blimey. Excess baggage and late night secrets. I hope Eddie knows what he's doing because snooping on people in the dark is never a good look. Unless, of course, you're a caped crime fighter. Maybe Eddie has a fetish for wearing his pants over his trousers. Could this be revealed during excess baggage? We can only hope. Find out next time on Love Island. That felt like a very short episode. I'm not complaining. I think that was interesting and I don't actually know how to feel about it. I wish more than anything that this season would stop forcing Suresh on us. Like, I don't mind the other boys trying to graft, but the fact that we've said no to Suresh so many times and he's still trying to get with us uh, it doesn't sit right with me if i was in the villa i probably would have left myself because i wouldn't put up with that i wouldn't want to be forced to have a relationship and share a bed with the man that i want nothing to do with I know there's going to be a reason behind it. I know there's going to be a reason why Suresh is grafting on us so hard and there's going to be a big reveal at some point. I can just feel it. But I don't want the meantime bits. I just want to move on, find someone else. Maybe some new boys in the villa. Who knows? New girls in the villa? Maybe. Do let me know what your thoughts are in the comments though. I would really, really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell because I'm uploading these videos as soon as they come out and I am so excited to be sharing Liv's journey with you. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you haven't already. It really helps me out and boosts me so more and more people can see these videos. And I want to say a massive thank you to Mike Greaves who has become a channel member. So thank you so much. It's so lovely to have you on board. And to everyone else, thank you so much for all of your support by being here, by watching the videos, liking, subscribing, commenting. I can't thank you all enough and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.